Hey, cozy game enthusiasts, welcome back to Joystick News, your ultimate source for the latest in indie gaming. Today, we have a special treat for you, an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the much-anticipated game Tiny Glade by Pounce Light. To celebrate the release of Tiny Glade's demo, we sat down with developers Anastasia Opara and Tomas Stashoyak to discuss the game's history, proceduralism, bevy, rust, self-publishing, and the cozy games genre. Let's dive in. If you haven't heard about Tiny Glade yet, it's a relaxing castle building simulator that's been all the rage on social media and is one of the most wishlisted games on Steam. The game started as a simple procedural wall generator and has evolved into a beautiful, relaxing experience for players. With the demo now available on Steam, fans can finally get a taste of what's to come. We had the pleasure of talking with Anastasia Opara and Tomas Stashoyak from Pounce Light. Here are some key insights from our conversation. When asked why they decided to launch a demo, Anastasia explained that it was primarily to give people the opportunity to try the game before buying it. While they are eager for community feedback, they have already conducted close playtests to iron out major issues. The demo is a way for players to see if Tiny Glade is their cup of tea. Thomas shared that one of the biggest challenges they faced was perfecting the user experience ux. Ensuring that interactions are satisfying and intuitive is crucial for a game like Tiny Glade. They received valuable feedback from playtesting, which helped them iterate and improve the game's controls and features. Anastasia added that they also wanted to see how players use the tools provided. For example, playtesters created unexpected structures like wooden walls using lantern elements, prompting the developers to add new features such as proper machicolations and bridges. Anastasia, a procedural artist, talked about her journey with procedural art, which started nearly a decade ago. Tiny Glade began as a hobby project to test rendering and evolved into a full-fledged game. The project utilizes Bevy, a data-driven game engine powered by Rust, and has undergone significant development since its early days as a simple procedural wall generator. Anastasia addressed the misconception that procedural generators are like generative AI, where you press a button and everything is done for you. She emphasized that procedural art is very hands-on, with every rule crafted by the developers to curate a specific experience. This level of detail distinguishes it from more automated AI-driven processes. During the early development of Tiny Glade, Anastasia was working full-time at Embark Studios. The first prototype used Bevy Engine and OpenGL for rendering. As the project grew, they transitioned to Vulkan for better performance and stability, allowing them to create more complex and beautiful graphics. Thomas highlighted the advantages of using Rust and Bevy for game development, noting Rust's simplicity and the ergonomic design that avoids crashes. Bevy, with its Entity Component System X, provided a robust framework for Tiny Glade's procedural generation needs. Thomas described Tiny Glade as a game that doesn't try too hard to engage players, allowing them to immerse themselves in a cozy virtual environment. The game provides players with tools to create and explore at their own pace, similar to playing with Lego bricks. Anastasia added that their goal is to offer players the right building tools to inspire storytelling within the game. Each feature is designed to provide a unique and enjoyable experience validated by how many stories they can tell. Anastasia shared that Tiny Glade was inspired by cozy games she enjoyed, such as Townscaper, Unpacking, and A Little to the Left. These games provided a warm, uplifting experience that she wanted to replicate in Tiny Glade. The game naturally lent itself to the cozy genre, emphasizing relaxation and creativity over combat and management pressure. Anastasia and Thomas decided to self-publish Tiny Glade to learn about the publishing process and maintain full creative control. They wanted to understand what it takes to publish a game and make informed decisions for future projects. This approach allowed them to focus on creating a game that aligns with their vision without external pressures. 
While they are fully focused on Tiny Glade, Anastasia and Tamas have many ideas for future games. However, they are not ready to reveal specifics yet. As for Tiny Glade's release date, they are cautious about setting a specific date but are committed to providing updates once they have a finalized product they are proud of. Thanks for joining us on this exclusive journey into the world of Tiny Glade. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more in-depth gaming news and updates. Hit that bell icon to be notified whenever we upload new content. Until next time, keep gaming and stay cozy.